A helicopter is getting a lot of attention in Yancey County. Small crowds of people are gathering in the Pensacola community to watch it remove trees from a remote area. News 13's Megan Shearing is live in Burnsville with more. Megan? Hey, well, hey there, Darcel. It's called helicopter logging. And in areas like Yancey County, where the terrain is steep and rugged, it makes the process of harvesting trees a little easier. Tucked away deep in Yancey County. Wow, that is just amazing. A helicopter is catching the eyes of many. It's a well, like a well-oiled machine. I mean, they, they know the stuff. It's being used to log trees off property owned by Karen Fitzgerald's family. Pretty much on Facebook, everybody's talking about it and sharing different uh, pictures. Canton Sawmill LLC is behind the project. They hire Columbia helicopters to help them with the selective harvest. Owner John Fletcher says they've never tried this logging method before, but after a slow winter, he hopes it will be good for business. We also employ 22 people at our sawmill, and we were on the verge of losing hours due to lack of hardwoods to manufacture. So this is a way to boost our production going into the rainy season of the year. He does believe the project will be a win for the environment, though. Project manager Roger Bies explains why it creates a healthier, sustainable forest. When we come in and we do the selective harvest, it reduces the, the fire fuel. It uh, opens the, the stand up so it can grow healthy, um, has uh, less of an infestation of you know, disease, bugs. Fletcher says all of the timber collected will be utilized with no waste. Oh. And although the entire operation seems massive, it's actually very localized, even though it's becoming the talk of the town. Unbelievable how quick they are, too. They're just over back and forth so quick. And if we continue to have sunny days like this, the uh, selective harvest will wrap up on Sunday. Reporting live in Yancey County tonight, Megan Shearing, News 13.